Hey Anchor 150, Ruby Ed here. Today we're going to be disassembling this Xbox 360 controller. Uh, this is a wired controller and uh, we'll also be comparing it slightly to the Xbox 360 wireless controller just for a few specs uh, because the 360 uh, wired controller, this one's slightly off-brand, not Microsoft. It's uh, GameStop supported and it does also have a battery pack and has this one bit of a uh, screw which you cannot see on the 360 uh, wireless controller because this sticker is covering it. You either need to peel it off or pierce through it to get to it. We're just going to put this off to the side until we need it. And now we can get started. Inputs as usual with the analog sticks and the D-pad, the home button, and the other buttons uh, just to uh, play your games and uh, send your inputs to your 360. Okay, we've got everything set up onto the table. Uh, these buttons are sort of laid out parallel to how a normal 360 controller would be laid out. Now, since this is a slightly cheaper band, brand, some of the buttons like the D-pad and the triggers won't come off as easily without possibly breaking, so I won't uh, be taking those off. Microsoft brand uh, 360 has a large silicon pad that takes up the entirety of the main buttons over here, but the cheaper brand has uh, broken up uh, silicon pads, and the D-pad has its own uh, separate, la uh, separate pad just by itself. And we also have the analog sticks for just moving around. And their inputs here are the two small joysticks with potentiometers, resistors, and a whole tiny suite of instruments to measure X, Y uh, input directions and uh, different translations so they can turn uh, analog movement into digital movement for your uh, Xbox to interpret. And the silicon pads have little uh, tiny bits of uh, conductive material on them. So every time you press down on a button, they press down on these tiny circuits and allow a... Uh, full circuit to be completed and once that happens your Xbox can be the can uh, detect when you're pressing a button and input those controls into your game. Uh, the little rumble motors they just have a little weight which uh, moves around really quickly when it spins and creates a little rumbling vibrating effect so you can feel like you're in the game. And we also have the triggers again because these are off-brand taking these off might damage it but normally all you have to do is just take off this little bit of uh, plastic and uh, the trigger will c just come off they do have their own springs inside, which allows them to bounce back really quick. And now that we've uh, seen all the insides of the controller, we can start putting it back together.